And here we go with our fourth event of the evening, where we have we return back to the MMA. We have Carl Booth, who will be fighting in the grey shorts, against Shane Riley, who will be fighting in the black shorts. And straight back into the MMA, Dave, what are your thoughts on the fight this evening? Yeah, we've got two fighters here. You've got Carl Booth with a professional record of six wins, one loss, and Shane Riley with uh, five wins and five losses. So both of them have got you know a good amount of fights between them. Should be a really interesting one. I'd like to see which way this one goes. And there we are with the touch of gloves, looking to go straight into the start of the fight. And here we go. Who's your money on for this one, Joe? Oh, God. It's a difficult one to say, really. I've, I haven't seen much of the two fighters before. I think you've got to go with Carl the Bomber Booth here. You know, he's got a, he's got a better record with the uh, six wins, one loss. Um, should be... I'm interested to see if he can keep that record up, you know. Straight up against the fence, though, to start. Yeah, let's just see how he gets out of this one, you know. He's, he's got to try turning him and maybe putting him on the fence. He's done a, yeah, he's done a good job of that here. I wonder if we're going to witness another first-round knockout. And he's managed to take him down here. This is interesting. Yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy one tonight with all the first-round knockouts. First three fights with three, three finishings in the first round. He's doing well, like we thought here. He's got good top control. Showing He's... the dominance. You've got Shane Riley at the bottom here, keeping control of his neck, trying to hold his head down so he can't posture up and land some shots on him. But he's got, to, he's got to control those wrists as well. Otherwise, those are going to get through. And he's leaving his back open here, so he could be susceptible to a rear naked choke if he's not careful. Coach is shouting barking orders to their fighters there. I wonder how much they actually hear from the coaches while they're in the middle of the fight. This is interesting to see here. He's trying to, he's, he's not quite got his neck at the moment. He's trying to get underneath the chin here, but he's not quite able to do so. If he's not careful, he's got to be busy here. The referee might stand him back up, but... Both these fighters here, we got Carl fighting out of Nottingham MMA, and we got uh, Shane Riley who's fighting out of Brotherhood MMA. Um, both trying to get the win here, you know, this would be a real good way to uh, kickstart the career with a nice win here in front of a, like we said, a full packed house. Yeah, as you can see, the crowd behind surrounding the uh, octagon just there. As you can hear, the trainer's there. He's he's telling Carl there he wants more elbows. He can use that right arm now and just plant some elbows. But as he, I think he's still trying to get the rear naked choke. He's trying to get his arm underneath the chin, but it's just... What he could do here is try flattening him out. And again, like what he's trying to do is land some ground and pound. But the referee might... He, you know, he's still, he's still defending himself. It must be exhausting for the fighters defending on the mat, absorbing the punches, trying to get out of the grapple. It must take away m most of your energy. Defending like this, and as you can see, these shots are getting through. The referee is going ah. to have to stop. Yeah, he's going to have to. He had no other choice there. He was just... It was a good fight, but like we said, another first-round finish. Absolutely brutalising them punches there. And there you can see in the slow-mo... The, the elbows elbow. are getting through. Oh, they're, not, yeah. they're not being blocked anymore. And the referee, yeah, he's, I think he's done the right thing there. There seems to be, it seems to be the chosen choice of uh, finishing the fights this evening. We've had a few elbows that have been brutal. And there he is, confirmation of the win. Yeah, so Carl there moves to seven wins, one loss. So yeah, he's, he's looking really good at the moment. Uh, interesting to see where he goes now in the future.